What up, crew? We are back. We are back. You chilling with your boy Jess Mike, and we got CJ sitting in. For we're gonna do a quick little recap of the 2012 BMAs. We're gonna let you know what we think and what we thought about the show, man. So first off, we got Amber Rose and Wiz Khalifa. They did a sway interview where basically they broke the news that you know Amber Rose was pregnant. Amber Rose was about three months pregnant. She's not about three months pregnant. She's about five or six months pregnant. Yeah, that stomach did look pretty big, man. I mean, you know, uh, I guess she was a. I guess she got uh, she tricked Wiz and you know what I'm saying subscribing to that sperm bank. I know but Kanye I wasn't it has doing to be it. A trick. She just wasn't ready when she was with Kanye. So now Kanye that she, wasn't ready. But she wasn't in a love relationship. She's in a love relationship now, so it's a perfect time. But I think the VMAs was. Definitely a bad choice to announce that you're pregnant because you're not Beyonce. Oh, yeah. She did try to do a Beyonce thing, right? <laughs> yeah, in my opinion. Exactly. But cute dress, though. <laughs> but no. Oh, yeah. It was not, nice. No, she should have chosen another form to announce that she was pregnant. Showed off everything. Then we had, uh, oh, Rihanna. She started the show with, with uh, ASAP Rocky. They did a nice little performance. Hated her outfit. Looked like a shower curtain and a shower cap. <laughs> Yeah, it was like yeah, it was, that's not like a typical Rihanna outfit. I don't know what she was thinking on that, but uh, ASAP apparently he liked it because that boy grabbed a chunk of her butt. I mean, a, a whole chunk. bunch of booty. Not the outside, but he went in for the in yeah. grasp, full hand. <laughs> yeah, like he inner line. A kung fu Joe full grip. <laughs> yeah, he had a whole bunch of hook. But the funny part I liked about that is they cut. A wait to Drake and that nigga Drake was Drake was just looking like wow like really lucky I don't have a bottle or else I'll yeah, throw it. <laughs> <laughs> then we had uh, Kevin Hart he came out came out as his uh, 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 president and he had a little munchkins and everything with him uh, but the funny part is that is he brought actually brought out Dwight Howard now Dwight Howard came out there with a, a jersey for him. That shit looked like a damn dinner dress on him. It went with his cocktail jacket. Oh, yeah, right. So it, 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 it worked. This fool had the smallest tuxedo on. I don't know what, I don't know what they've been thinking nowadays. Everybody be dressing different now. I don't know. Uh, I really don't get it. Two chains came out there in some crates, some gold jeans. You got Big Sean. He had some uh, Eddie yeah, Murphy raw leather pants and a chiffon. Wife Star, beater. But it looked like the <laughs> performance from Kanye West type leather. Oh, yeah, sparkly. right. But, I mean, I guess it worked. Yeah. It, it worked for him. Then we had uh, Frank Ocean coming out. Now, he, he did his performance. Now, actually, I don't really know why he chose to do such an old song with Thinking About You, but what was more puzzling was, like, the setup. He had an elaborate setup where it was like, you didn't know if he was in a swamp. Maybe it was a metaphor of some kind because it sucked completely. You couldn't see his face. Right. And it, it just, I think he should have been more on the forefront in the crowd. Like, I'm not going anywhere except me exactly for who I am. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Maybe, you know, he was trying to hide from himself. But that's pushing himself back. Back in, that's pushing himself back into the closet. You're <laughs> you're being pushed back into it. When we accept you for who you are, you have good music. We love the song. Right. It would have been more relatable. But I'm out. Uh, you know, my first love was a man. We understand that. But I don't. I just think it was too hidden, too swampish, yeah. too bayou. Like you walk in a bayou somewhere, and I don't want anybody to see me, but I want you to hear my music. <laughs> exactly. Then we had Pink performing. Uh, now, Pink performance, yeah, it seemed like she did, been there and did that before, man, exactly. you know, jumping through the sky. Uh, didn't Chris Brown do that, you know what she I mean? She did it before, too. But right. But it just, it didn't work. It just seemed like been there, done that. And then they showed Chris Brown, and he seemed like he, he was, was like, like, oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Jogging my shit. <laughs> yeah, and they hyped it up so much, like it was going to be the performance of the year. So, yeah, but it wasn't, it wasn't as I thought it was going to be. Right. Been there, done that. Been she should have done something else. Then we had, um, we had Rebel Wilson. Now Rebel Wilson came. This was crazy. Rebel Wilson, she gonna she gonna come out there and prevent this present this VMA 
And the funny part about it, she had on a bikini shirt with pubic hair. She said big growth back a hundred years. <laughs> yeah, because like that. why did it was cute at first, like, oh, okay, then she moved it back and it's like, oh, why yeah, you do that? Yeah, exactly. People wondering, is that how she really you know, is that how she looked up under all of that? You know what I'm saying? It just was real nasty. Even the guy that was standing next to her, he was looking at her like, Ugh, really? Really? She's more of one of those comedians who say embrace, embrace yourself or be who you are. But that was just too much. Yeah, that was a little nasty. Even with Nikki, she came up there. She did. She accepted her performance, but she was like, uh, nah, I got to get up out of here. Like, you ain't finna have me <laughs> near all this coochie no, hair. No, baby, we're Barbies. <laughs> We yeah, can't be like, we don't. That. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that was crazy. And then next we had um, uh, Two Chains and Lil Wayne. They did a performance. Honestly, I couldn't understand one word, <laughs> not one. All I heard was Amber Rose somewhere in it and Camel Toe. I'm uh, not sure which. Two Chains. Absolutely, but we left it. Lil yeah. Wayne diving into the stage. Everybody's done it, so why do it? Right, that was, and then you know what? That was like a theme of the whole VMAs too, man. Like, it seemed like everybody was diving into the stage. You had like Kevin Hart; he started off the show diving into the stage. And you got Lil Wayne diving into the stage. Rihanna went into the stage and got swallowed up. Everybody seemed like they wanted to jump into the stage. This, I don't know. That was just a little thing, man. But uh, then we had, uh, who was it? Oh, Alicia Keys. Now, Alicia Keys performed her new song with Nicki Minaj. Bringing out Gabby yeah, was she, wonderful. Yeah. So she brought out Gabby look. Douglas. That was nice. You know, Gabby came out there and did a couple cartwheels. She didn't really get in too much into it. She really she really wasn't dressed for all of that. But she went out there and she no, did she a little thing. No, she was dressed for it. She was dressed for tumbling. She absolutely was just for oh, yeah, it. Yeah, when that bra came out, that shirt came down, and you seen that bra. But that was supposed, that is oh, what well. it was supposed to well, be. Yeah, maybe it was. Yeah, she, she looked right, because she had a little dress at first, and a little gold chiffon dress. It was cute. Oh, right, yeah, she did so get changed, really, yeah. I think she did a great job. I love her, so it's like she can't do anything they wrong in my eyes. So, go, I'm team Gabby all the way. Alicia Keys is definitely pregnant. Oh yeah, yeah, she, she, uh, she, she. Now, see, that's what I was saying, cause like, she came out and she didn't have no boobs. Like usually after you give birth, you supposed to have some boobs left, but I mean, she didn't have no boobs. No, but she's pregnant. She did look like she had supposed to have now, one of them uterus belts on. Now she, like Beyonce did. <laughs> now she's definitely three months pregnant. Um, she's definitely around three to four months pregnant. Yeah, the stomach did look a little popped out. You know what I'm saying? I don't and know. She's not. Sorry, Alicia. We will know. We will find out. <laughs> uh, what else happened? Oh, Rihanna. She won. I think she won Video of the Year. Actually, she she opened the show and she closed the show. You know what I mean? She won Video of the Year. But yeah. the funny part about that was uh, her and Katy Perry was wishing each other luck. But once she won, she gave her that look like. No, start off my show. The girl yeah. with that dress was freaking. Oh, yeah. The she, backless yep. number. Man. She did a good good job with that dress because that bathrobe she had on in the beginning with the hairnet the bath <laughs> no rihanna and the comeback boots come oh, on yeah. no no if you don't get your ass grabbed let's go good let's you know let's let's some, bring out something nice. Not nice yeah yeah she definitely did her thing next we had uh the final performance of the night uh taylor swift now she actually did a performance which was like okay it was whatever honestly most of the performances on this whole VMA was just like so so. Nothing was like so terrible, but most of the performances was so so. But to me, this just looked at like an old Navy commercial. It just <clears throat> that last year's VMAs were off the chain. You had Beyonce announcing the fact that she was pregnant. Then you have Chris Brown flying through the air. You have. Jay and Kanye come out. Lady right. Gaga dressed right. up as a man. It did to me look like a big ad. Yeah, man, that was like basically the whole show, or at least the highlights of the show, man. You know, to me, the show went by really quick. I mean, I I, I didn't. It didn't seem like it was a two-hour long show to me, man. I. I was seeing like I blinked and then the show was over there. But it was, you know, it really wasn't nothing that was too stand out about it. Nothing really just popped. It was just like a, a quick show. To me, it was like more commercials than anything. Like, there were 
It was more of a Kevin Hart promote MTV Awards yeah. show. Prince Harry thing didn't go over well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, not he enough. had some misses. Yeah, he did. The outfits were total misses. The dinner jacket, the cocktail dress jacket, <laughs> the two tight soup um, tuxedo pants where it made him look like he had more ass than Rihanna. <laughs> Just didn't work. But yeah, it was okay, man. It was, but it wasn't nothing like rememberable. I think you probably will forget about everything that happened. I don't think nobody really gonna put this one in their memory banks. But you know, it was what it was, man. That's our review for the 2012 VMAs. Let me know, y'all. Let us know what y'all think about it, man. Hit us in the comment box. Let us know what y'all thought about it. You know what I mean? Uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter. That's just Mike77 on Twitter. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, let us know what y'all think. But that is it for this one. And to the next time, it's your boy Just Mike. And I'm CJ. And we will see you on the next one. We are out.